we've been slowly and steadily climbing. If you look around here, you can see that we are uh, kind of uh, on a summit or, you know, close. You can see the ridges over there and over in that direction all around except to the east where it looks like we have a little more uphill to go. And then I imagine once we get over that crest, uh, then that might be close to where the scenic vista is. We're still hiking eastward right into the sun. So I think the trail needs to turn a little bit south. The trail should start to uh, uh, trend southward and then uh, I don't know how far up there is a scenic vista. Is it a vista of Rager Mountain? Because I don't think this is Rager Mountain. I don't think the trail is on the mountain. According to uh, the state forest map, it looks like maybe the mountain is something that we'll be able to see from the trail. So it's like a Rager Mountain View trail in that sense. And I guess it's pronounced Rager. I don't know. Is it Rager? Rager? Uh, Rager? Rager? Mainly stopped to take off <coughs> my outer jersey. <clears throat> and uh, quick tick inspection reveals no troubles so far. I brought the coffee concentrate with me today. I know, it's a Pantene bottle, but it has coffee concentrate in it. It's gonna have me a cold cup of coffee. I'm just gonna add it to this half a bottle of water here. Now, in case you didn't see my other video where I talked about this, I know you must be thinking, oh man, you put that in the shampoo bottle? That has got to, you cannot tell me that doesn't have a sudsy aftertaste. It doesn't. I rinsed it very, very thoroughly. And I used not just water, but orange juice and soda and I don't know what else to rinse this bottle. <clears throat> it, it, it probably got a hundred rinses at least with water and other things. So, that soap taste is gone, I assure you. <clears throat> Not bad, but I wouldn't say it's great. <clears throat> it was better a few days out from making it. <clears throat> it's been in the fridge, and I don't know how long it should last. I don't really know why it would go bad if it's in the fridge but the proof is in the pudding of course or in this case the proof is in the concentrate the proof is in the bottle the proof is on your tongue certainly not as good but I guess it'll do in a pinch bottomless baggie of trail mix. You can see that it's mostly peanuts, like half peanuts. You can buy an enormous can of so-called party peanuts, you know, or some, something like that. Stretch out your trail mix with that, you know. That's what I do. It's also going to cut down the, the cost over time, right? Because some trail mixes are, you know, a little bit pricey. And if there's one that you really like, then, like I say, you cut down the expense by basically diluting it with something like plain old peanuts.
case I decide my coffee didn't quite do it for me. I've also got some chocolate covered espresso beans.